My name is Mike Rowe. I'm a customer reliability manager here at GE. I've been in the oil and gas industry about uh, 41 years. As my years in the oil industry will tell you, I've been on the end of a fire hose many times, uh, fighting you know industrial fires based on a failure. And um, I personally have a passion to not have somebody else be in that situation. The way the process works, the CREs or the rapid response team are you know, responsible for doing the daily reviews. And uh, when they see an issue, they will send it out to somebody like myself that's got experience on the equipment uh, to evaluate whether it needs to be sent out as a high priority to the customer right now, they need to take immediate action, prevent an immediate failure, or can we just put it on a weekly report for a topic of discussion. And that's what we do. And then we'll issue a weekly report, have a scheduled call with the customer. Almost all of my customers, we have a, a regular scheduled call every week. And we go through the relevant uh, items on the report and then they'll give us feedback as to was it something true? Was it something that was just a, a, a different process change that they've done that affects the mechanical uh, condition of the equipment? Well, basically the diagnostic package just takes all the information from the vibration, the temperature, all the conditions that it's seeing, and it's, it's spitting out a diagnosis. Our customer has to be able to trust that we know what we're talking about. Staff with reliability engineers who know failure and have learned about failure, learned about the industries that they're monitoring, and see failure day in and day out. Our customer reliability managers are a key for establishing trust. Our CRMs have spent 20, 30 years in the industry. They face those tough, critical decisions. If you want to name the output of the Industrial Performance Reliability Center, it's what we call a diagnostic package. And for us, the diagnostic package is the picture plus the description of the issue plus the expertise, you know, the diagnosis of, of you know, what, what are some possible causes. And we really focus on a one-page report that can be passed around that a maintenance engineer on an offshore oil platform off the coast of Africa can look at it and say, I get it, I understand why I should do something that I wasn't planning on doing. How can this remote monitoring center, hours away, countries away, half a world away, really help me with my maintenance operation? And so usually we go through a cycle where um, they might be skeptical at first, and then we'll notify of them of an issue, they'll take a corrective action, and then we can help them verify their maintenance action is successful. And really show them that complete life cycle, blue and green falling right together, blue starting to deviate from green, far inside hard alarm limits taking a maintenance action, showing them we're returning back to green. When they've gone through that whole life cycle, a lot of times it really snaps into focus and they say, oh, I get it. These guys are here to help me out. They're here to make my life better. They're here to, uh, you know, again, prevent those, those forest fires before they start.